I'm Kathy Novotny from North Providence. Um, I live in Rhode Island, obviously, and I am here as a volunteer on behalf of the Rhode Island chapter for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Moms is a grassroots organization with over 5,000 members in our state. Moms Demand Action was founded nationally after 20 children and six staff members were shot in the Sandy Hook Elementary School. But there are many types of gun violence in America. <coughs> On an average day in America, 96 Americans are shot and seven are children, excuse me, and seven children and teens are killed with a gun. In an average month, 50 women are shot to death by an intimate partner, and black men are 13 times more likely to be shot and killed than white men. Three weeks ago, thir excuse me, 17 people lost their lives at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Once again, an entire community has been rocked by gun violence. We don't deserve to live like this, and our children and students don't deserve to die like this. There is more than we can do, and we need to do. I'm here today to urge the committee to support the passage of a red flag law, House Bill 7688 and 7763, which will help Rhode Island give Rhode Islanders a chance to act before warning signs escalate into tragedies. Mass shooters like the ones in Parkland are often display warning signs before committing violent acts. The shooter at Parkland who killed 17 people and injured 15 others had previously threatened students and been expelled from school. His mother had reportedly called the police numerous times and concerned about his behavior. These types of warning signs before a shooting are not rare. When a person is in danger to their self or others, family and law enforcement are often the first to see the signs that they pose a threat. A nationwide study of mass shootings from 2009 to 2016 by Everytown for Gun Safety revealed that in, the least, it, that in at least 42% of those incidents, there is documentation that the attacker exhibited dangerous warning signs before the shooting. In another tragic example of this, before killing six people in Isla Vista, California, May 2014, the shooter displayed numerous warning signs, including making homicidal and suicidal threats. His parents alerted law enforcement, but he did not meet the criteria for emergency mental health commitment. As a result, he kept his guns and he used them in the killing spree three weeks later. In response to that tragic shooting, California passed its red flag law in 2016. Simply put, a red flag law that establishes an extreme protection order empowers Rhode Islanders to help prevent tragedies from happening. Families may alert law enforcement and the courts about indicators that a person may be a danger to themselves or others so that the court can temporar temporarily restrict their access to firearms. Five states have already passed these red flag laws that we've already heard tonight, and at least 18 other states, including Florida, are currently considering similar bills. Red flag laws and policies at the state level can help keep this from happening from more families. A red flag law can also help prevent gun suicide. Suicide accounts for nearly two thirds of gun deaths in the United States. According to Rhode Island Department of Health, suicide by any means is the second leading cause of death for Rhode Islanders ages 15 to 34. Research shows that the access to firearm triples the risk of death by suicide, but a red flag law can help save the lives by reducing a suicidal person's access to firearms. A 2017 study of Connecticut's red flag law found that the law has averted an estimated 72 or more suicides since it was enacted. The young voices of students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School have recently said it better than any of us ever could. We need more than thoughts and prayers from our elected leaders. We need action. We need them to pass laws and enact policies that will save lives, like the red flag bills before you now. I also want to highlight and pass to the committee 12,000, excuse me, excuse me, 1,272 signatures from Rhode Islanders urging the committee to pass a red flag law. I want to thank Speaker Mattiello, House Leadership, Representative Wranglin Vassal, and all the other co-sponsors for standing for gun sense and introducing these life-changing bills and life-saving bills. We urge the committee to act swiftly and to help make Rhode Islanders' red flag law one of the strongest and smartest. Finally, I want to also express our support for prohibiting bump stocks. Machine guns have been prohibited since the 1930s, 
bump stocks and other rapid fire devices to skirt law, federal law and mimic automatic gunfire can increase the lethality of gun shootings or of shootings as we recently saw in the tragic shooting in Las Vegas. In closing, it bears remembering this. More than ever before, our children, our students, are watching, listening, and asking, what will we do to keep them safe? As a teacher, I was asked that more times in this last month than I can ever tell you. With your leadership, I hope we will soon be able to tell them everything we can. Thank you.